Hello everybody, this is Willen and uh, some people were asking because I showed some pics of the little paint shaker I made so I just thought about sharing that with you and showing how I made it, it was very very simple it took a long while actually to source the parts and try to make it fit I mean a lot of thinking of how I was going to do that uh, uh, eventually it did, it all clicked together and why why did I make a paint shaker is Usually, I mean, if you're only going to use superstitious paints, then you're blessed. I mean, because they're so thin, and you can just give a quick shake to the bottle, and the consistency will be right, good. I mean, out of the bottle. Even if you have a few separation, usually it's just blend together really quickly. If you are using Vallejo monocolor, game color, or a scale 25 as I do, I have quite a bit of quite a, I mean, a lot of those paints. Uh, separation is an issue, and I don't know if I'm because I'm just a wimpy guy, but uh, if I just shake, shake, shake with my hands the paints for like two or three minutes, then usually my hands start to shake too much to paint, so it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a pain for me to do that. And if you have to shake like 10, 12, 20 bottles because you're not really sure which shade you're going to use like I do because I play along with a lot of paints uh, at the same time on, on every day of, of the figure then I mean uh, I, I end up shaking a lot of paints and and it takes me like 15 minutes of no painting basically it eats up my painting time so I try to do something to shake them I tried a lot of house homemade solutions to shaking paints and mixing paints and None of them was good. Um, end up doing something uh, similar to what I saw on the on the Reaper forms. Uh, basically, it's just a PC fan, a computer fan, from the case of the computer, uh, attached to a container. And you, what you have to do is unbalance the fan. Uh, so it, when it spins, it spins unbalanced and starts to shake, right? I mean, it, it, it vibrates a lot. The idea is to, trans to translate that vibration into a, into a paint pot, and so the pigments and the medium inside the paint, that paint bottle will shake and, 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 and get back together and uh, you, you can fight separation. So, uh, enough of that, uh, I'm going to just uh, switch the camera to the main, main camera of my phone and show you how I did it, okay? Okay, so that's my paint shaker. Uh, what I did basically is, uh, if you see, I have a heavy base here, this is just, I mean, I, I was turning about the computer, so I said, oh, I need something heavy, and, you know, it's this old CD drive uh, serve as a base. And then, uh, what I glued, and uh, you can see here, is this is the PC fan, right? You can see it's a fan, yeah, I mean, sorry, I... I'm not going to de to unglue everything to show you, but that is it. Then I have some foam. This foam comes from the Infinity Figures cases, and the idea is that so it is vibrates like this, right? So all the vibration that is going to be out came from the fan uh, will be translated into this container. They just you know when very old as you see, uh, Tupperware container where I'm going to put the paints. So it's just good for pieces of this hot glue this to the to the old DVD drive and then to the fan. What it is to the fan is going to is difficult for you for me to show you but how oh, you can see pretty, pretty much it. I was trying to unbalance at first I started taking material off one of the blades. Uh, it was not enough to unbalance to create a lot of vibration so what I did with my drum is I uh, drill a hole into one of the fans on the blades of the fan and then just uh, screw an all um, screw that I had running around from the computer case. Actually, it was a very heavy, all du all heavy duty screw. It's just put in there, being careful that it doesn't touch the the frame of the fan or the container above, so that I mean it doesn't impede the the the, the movement. So then, for power, these fans are 12 volts fan from the computer. Uh, at first I thought about using uh, the actual computer um, 
power source, uh, but the power source was, I mean, it was uh, an old but powerful computer I, I had. It was uh, 550 watts. It was way too much power for only one fan. So if we only connect a little fan like this to the power source, I mean, uh, I, I was a little afraid that so much output just wasted on this fan will create overheating on the source. So I, stayed, I thought, oh, okay, let's find something easier. What gives out 12, around 12 volts usually continues uh, current because you don't need you don't you can't have alternating current on this fan it wouldn't work it's a continuous current uh, motor actually driving that fan and uh, what gives out continuous current output around that voltage is our uh, cell phone chargers especially the old ones you know so or whatever appliance like a router router or um, a cable modem stuff like that they usually you know have something to that you plug those get i mean those adapters like these ones output current uh, constant current uh, voltage so i checked this one was from a very old, you know, brick-like phone that uh, somebody here from my house had lying around. I took it, just stripped it out, and I took a lot of some testing to see which wire was positive and negative. Just, you know, be careful, 12 volts are not going to shock you and kill you, but it can bite. So just unplug, we did unplug, just try the cables, plug it in, if it rotates then all good if not just try another combination this has another third one i don't know if probably for you know earth uh, but you only need the positive and negative that's all this fan have right you see some fans have a third cable you need that will just make you uh, usually on the computer you just need to find a black the black cable is the is the return and uh, or the, the current one so but the third cable of some fans uh, is the uh, R RPM detector uh, where they can control the speed that it rotates. So basically, what is really good about that, I'm going to just switch it on or just plug it because I mean I didn't put a switch, I could put a switch on this later. I'm just going to plug it in. You plug it in, it rotates, and you see how it vibrates, right? Over there. Good things about this is one is very very quiet because it's a computer fan. Uh, second, I mean it doesn't really give this a lot of heat. This adapter from the cell phone also is designed to be running, I mean to giving electricity for a long time, several hours to charge in the phone, so it doesn't really heat too much, so it's perfect. So I'm just Usually painting over here, what I did the, the, this weekend, I was just painting and just needed, you know, like an orange. So I just put, in, put a body here and let it shake. Cons is, it's not very powerful. Uh, it would not create, uh, shake them really, really well, but it helps integrate the paint. And with a few, a few quick handshakes afterwards, they were, uh, they, they were, in, in the right consistency. What I did is just I took some foam so that I could stick my paint in there, you see, and it was shaked uh, so most of the, that vibration got transmitted into the bottle. So, as you see, that's the noise it makes. Very nice. I mean, if I just plug the radio in to give me company while painting, that you won't notice that. Let's see if we can do. This, I don't know if you can capture this has some, this model color silver paint has some separation. What I did is just put the paint there where I was, not as dark secret, or no metallic paint, no silver. It was just, then I paint and I just left it there for a couple of minutes. I did this, then I just switch it so that pigments will move around. And with other paints, I would just stick it in the corner, you see. To actually take those pigments and then for another minute, just put it like that. Let's just keep switching, switching them. Yeah, after two or three minutes, pigments were much together. I mean, it's a little bit right now. I mean, it wouldn't really need a couple of minutes, probably. But I can see the idea is uh, while you're painting, you just pop 
paint you're probably going to use later and uh, just let it shake I mean almost no noise uh, it lacks power to be honest but uh, after this I will just turn it off right from there just take the paint quick shake and it would be it would be fine uh, for painting right so that is basically it um, anyway if you have some, uh, any other questions just let me know you can pay mess message me on the Reaper forums you can leave a message uh, on this uh, on this video as well so uh, hope you like the idea and uh, just mm, uh, give it a try if you need a, a, a quick steering <laughs> mechanism for your paint to help you out with your paint mixing okay thank you bye bye